to tell you how to analyze your data in Jump after importing it in the first tutorial. So we're going to talk about descriptive statistics today. Um, it's not going to be comparing um, what grade had the best guess for the rock weight or anything like that. It's just going to be looking at the data and seeing how it's distributed. So first we're going to go to the Analyze menu and then we're going to hit Distribution. First, we're going to look at the numeric data that we talked about in the last tutorial. So, weight guess and age. All right, when you click OK there, um, Jump actually does a histogram and a box plot for you. So, it's just all done automatically, which is pretty great. It has summary statistics for the data at the bottom, like mean and standard deviation that you calculated in Excel before. But it also draws a histogram up here. Um, we talked about different types of distributions um, earlier in the class, so I want you guys to think about what type of distributions these are. They look, they look pretty similar. But you probably haven't really seen box plots that much before, and I can just tell you what they're describing. So first off, we have um, this middle line here is the median, here and here. And this box in here is representing where the mean is. So you can see in both of these cases the um, the median is a little bit different from the mean in this case and very different here. And that's definitely uh, <laughs> reflective of the fact that there's outliers out here. So the outliers are bigger numbers and they're going to mess with the mean by pulling it upward, but it's not really going to affect the median. So that's just when you line them up in order, you pick the middle one. And the outliers out here um, definitely are reflective of the teachers because I don't know if we have any 45-year-old high school students, but I'm going to bet not. Alright, so the other parts of the box plot, you have the median, and the other lines here are the quartiles. So this is the first quartile, oh sorry, this is the first, sec yeah, first, second, third, fourth quartile. And in between these quartiles, it's going to be um, about a quarter of the data. So inside this box is half the data, because it's two quartiles, another quarter, another quarter. And this isn't counting the outliers, um, and you calculate the outliers by um, calculating the interquartile range, which is between the first and third quartiles, and then doing a formula based on that, but we're not really going to go into it. You can also do um, some descriptive statistics on the categorical data, so we're going to go back into distribution, and um, Jump performs different analyses based on what type of data you put into it, so if we put um, grade, gender, and tactile contact in here, it can't do a box plot because it doesn't have numeric data, but it can do um, sort of a, it's not quite a histogram because it's categorical data, but like a bar chart of the different categories. Alright, so this is showing you basically the frequency of how many people are in each grade. So looks like we got 31 teachers, 44 12th graders, and not so many 7th graders. We only have 16 7th graders. So we'll have to take that into account as we're comparing these groups together. The other problem that you probably noticed here is that we have four categories for gender and four categories for tactile content. That's because when you guys entered the data, you didn't standardize. So some of you used capital Y, some of you used lowercase y, and Jump doesn't know that these two things are the same thing. So in another tutorial, I'll show you how to fix this in either Excel or Jump. Um, so um, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys is that you can do, you can analyze the uh, numeric data will just do weight based on uh, categorical data, like grade. We'll put that in the by section here. And click OK. And this is basically the same data output as we did with the regular numeric data, except that it's separating it out based on grade. So you get one histogram and box plot for grade 10, one for grade 11, and so on. Um, just looking through this data, you can see that the means for each group are pretty different. Um, not every grade was guessing the same thing. And you can uh, make different conclusions based on that. So that's the end of this sort of descriptive uh, statistics tutorial, and we'll get into inferential statistics in the next one.